Hey, what's up my peoples? I'm back with another action figure video review, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Hasbro Star Wars The Black Series Padme Amidala. So here we are, and there she is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So, let's zoom out here and right off, and right off the bat, you do have a beautiful picture of Natalie Portman as Padme Amidala. Love that piece of artwork. It just looks, it looks beautiful. <laughs> uh, Padme Amidala, Warning, uh, and Star Wars the Black series on the top. Nothing, just a black abyss. <coughs> Excuse me. On this side just says uh, Padme Amidala in red, and then Padme in the background in um, gray. And on this side, you know, 80. Uh, she is figure number 81, Padme Amidala. On the bottom, you know, probably says something like, uh, don't let her and Anakin um, uh, negotiate aggressively because things will escalate. Sure. <laughs> On the back of the box, you got that same picture, just enlarged. Very nice. Uh, 81, Black Series. And you do have a bio if you want to to read it all right there so if you want to read it go ahead pause it if you want to read it in mul multiple languages here you go there you go and if you didn't pause it oh well <laughs> but moving right along here we have Padme, and she is such a cool figure. I, like, this is one of my favorite figures of the year. Um, I do have a couple gripes, but they're not major. Uh, I mean, they're not minor, but they're not major either. But, um, let's just get close here. Or let's just get in close here so we can see the details. Um, for the most part, she's white pla uh, she has white plastic. Um... But uh, she does have the silver uh, bands on her biceps. And then she has like a, a soft plastic uh, for her belt and holster in light gray. And then coming down to dim boots, we got gray plastic. And I think the white by her, uh, like for the knees, is um, painted on because when I bend the bottom joint, you can kind of see that the gray is um, showing, which I mean, I don't have a problem with because I mean, it blends together nicely. So that's pretty much all that matters. So then she does have sculpted treads and peg holes at the bottom of her feet. And going up the back, very nicely sculpted, nicely detailed. She does have the uh, her hair bun in for this costume, and I don't know how she changes hairstyles in like before, right before she gets ready for a Senate meeting. I don't get it. I don't know why she does that, or I don't know how she does that. Um, maybe they're just wigs, and she, and she just wants to look nice or something. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Can't really tell you. But um. Anyway, it uh, it does look like Natalie Portman. Like this blows, uh, like the likeness on this blows the figure arts out of the water. Like the figure arts does look like Natalie Portman, but not as much as this. I mean, this is just especially dead on. Like dead on, especially. Wow, Hasbro, you guys deserve a pat on the back for this. Um, just they deserve a pat on the back for this figure overall, except for how they did the hips, which we will get into. Um, you know what, let's go into articulation. So articulation wise, um, um, not that much far, or not that much far, what? Not that much up for the most part. I mean, she could look at Anakin, like here she is with SH Figuarts. <clears throat> with SH Figuarts Anakin, you know, you can have them look at each other if you want. So there you have that. Um, but yeah, as far as both the neck and head joints, uh, they don't move up past this. Let me zoom out a little. 
There we go. Doesn't go, go much further up, but you do get some pretty good down. I'd say that's pretty good. And then you do get the swivel, obviously, and then you get a little bit of head pivot. Not much, but you do get some. Uh, for the arms, for the shoulders, they go they go up at about 90 degrees, goes down about that far, then they rotate around. You do get a, uh, so it's on a ball hinge, and, sorry, I'm jumping all over the place, but the, uh, the head's on a double ball peg into the neck, and then the neck is a single ball peg into the uh, chest. So, and then the shoulders on a ball hinge, as we just talked about. The elbows are ball hinged, and they, and both elbows get up a very good range for holding guns, or whatever. So you do have that, and then she does swivel at the elbow. So there you have that. Um, the left wrist hinges in and out, as well as swivel, and because. This should be a thing on all uh, characters with uh, blaster holding hands. You can move her right hand up and down, and then you can obviously swivel. And for the torso, she barely con crunches forward, like, that's about it. It's just like, <laughs> which is a bummer. and. Yeah, I, I wish they kind of improved that, but, you know, at least at least the sculpt is beautifully done. But she can go back a little more. You do get some pivots, which is also good, and then the swivel. I think she can swivel all... Yeah, she can swivel all the way around, so... You know. Now, here's where my issue comes in. Because I get scared of moving them because of it. Or not really scared because the plastic is sturdy enough, but I still don't like the way they did this. Now, you could get her to kick forward, but not without rotating her at the hip joint, which is a bummer because we've been wanting a Padme for so long and they give us a Y, uh, a, a y uh, ball joint system why is that? <laughs> like no pun intended, like seriously, why would they do that? I don't I don't like that. Hasbro, please don't do that again with another Padme cuz that um no. No, 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 no. No, that's not how you do it. Always go the T jointed ball uh, always go with the with the uh, the T uh jointed ball the 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 T style ball joints. Always go with that. Never the Y. Never the Y joints, but anyway, you, you can still get some decent movement out of her. It's just always going to be outward. So, I mean, you can rotate forward this much. Yeah, it, you're not going to get much more unless you rotate it outward. But, um, she can move that far and then a little bit back, but barely. And then... You can't have her do the splits, but if you really wanted her to do the splits, just kind of rotate this, and then there you go. But, again, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. But, um, anyway. Um, but you do get a thigh swivel. You do get a double hinged knee. Which... Can in fact kick her own butt, which is awesome. Not needed, but still awesome. And then you do get um, the knees. Do feel a little gummy, but I mean they still feel sturdy enough where it's not going to pose a problem. <laughs> but anyway, ankles can move up barely, down even more, and then you do get some ankle pivot. So overall. Articulation-wise, sh it should be better. Like, maybe if not um, enlarge the the socket for the torso, um, at least put like a, 
a hinge in the abs or something. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm just a big fan of articulation. I mean, this this is still good. The, the movement is still pretty decent with this figure. It's just not as good as I would hope it to be. But let's move on with this with accessories. So right off the bat, um, you may you may notice that she doesn't have a cape. Well, here it is. I pulled it over her head because it is almost impossible to take her head off without damaging the figure, unless you like heat it up a lot. And I don't want to do that. And I don't really plan on using the cape that much, if at all. So this just kind of sits to the side because I don't care. I don't care about the cape. Maybe I'll make a, a soft goods version or maybe I'll find one uh, and use that. Or maybe I'll even, um, maybe what I'll do is I'll see if um, I can or if someone can make the purple cape and hood from the Clone Wars, the, the first season or two of the Clone Wars. So, yeah, but you, she does come with that. And then she also comes with her Naboo pistol, which is very, very tiny. And you do get um, silver paint and brown plastic or brown paint on silver plastic. Or maybe it's black paint and then the silver and brown are both painted on. But at any rate, it does look nice. Wish the barrel was longer, but I understand why they didn't do it even though they could have put it in the bendiest plastic of all time, but whatever. Um, she does hold it very nicely though, as you can see, uh, so she can, um, so you can get her to aim and shoot whatever you want her to shoot at, battle droids, um, stormtroopers, if you're into that cross era kind of thing. Um, you know, that kind of stuff. But yeah, very tiny. About either as tiny, if not slightly bigger than Harrison Dula's Blurg 1120. And if you remember from the Rebels cartoon and the Battlefront 2 video game, and like the EA one, and um, even my review of the Black Series Harrison Dula, you, you know that uh, her Blurg 1120 is tiny. But you can put Padme's pistol in the holster, and I believe it's supposed to be a, um, if not exactly, then a variant of the um, of the uh, ELG three A uh, Diplomat's blaster, which is her uh, weapon of choice in the prequel trilogy era. So there you have that, and she also has an E five battle droid blaster rifle which has some nice paint and sculpt work. Um, the, the silver wash is a bit heavy, especially towards the front, but I don't mind it that much. Um, now you may be wondering, how she put, how is she supposed to um, hold this with such a tiny grip? Here's the thing. You can take this hand out, like so, and then you could take this wider gripping hand and you can plug this in and then put put the blaster in or you can put the blaster in the hand and then uh, plug it in and she can hold the E5 or as most people call it the battle droid blaster and she looks good with it I dig it I dig it very much so there you have that now we'll just get down to the comparisons so let's zoom out a bit more and we will compare her to her um the droid she originally owned r2d2 before she owned c3po and here is her secret uh, secret what her secret husband anakin skywalker bring in obi-wan kenobi and we'll bring in clone Captain Rex. And for the heck of it, here, here she is with Mace Windu. 
So there you have that. So yeah, and just before I pull them away, one fun little fact about um, about this is um, the thing is is that Padme originally owned R2. R2 belonged to Padme um, because you know she she was the queen, and then I guess you know the new queen just sent R2 with Padme and all that kind of stuff. But but yeah. R2-D2 originally was owned by Padme. The reason why you hardly see her with R2 is because she gave uh, Anakin Skywalker when they got married on Naboo at the ending of Attack of the Clones. She gave Anakin R2 as a wedding day gift and Anakin gave her C-3PO as his wedding day gift to her. So yeah, they bas they basically just swapped droids for wedding day gifts, which, I mean, it's a little cheesy, you may say. I mean, I don't think it's that cheesy, if at all, but I think it's cute. I think it's cute. It's so nice. They're, they're a lovely couple when Anakin's not raging, so. <laughs> yeah, so, there you have that. <laughs> so there you have that, and... Uh, here she is with a uh, Mega Action Destroyer droid from Power of the Force, or Power of the Jedi. <sighs> here she is with a Black Series Battle Droid. And for the pure heck of it, here they are with the Bandai Model Kit Battle Droid. And yes, I know these two are different heights. I'll get into that when I review this guy. Um, and I will probably do a review of the Bandai Battle Droid and Stat Kits because I am doing something to the Staps. So yeah, um, that's to come at a later date. And I guess here they are with a, if I don't knock them over, a uh, folded up Battle Droid. Just because. So, there we have that. And that, if I could not knock him over, and that. And because he, or because uh, she saw him but never encountered him, here she is with General Grievous. Ay! Jesus. I can be clumsy, I know. I can be clumsy, but there you go. There she is with Grievous. Sorry for being clumsy. <laughs> but yeah, um, all in all though, very cool figure. I, um, you know, she looks good. She feels, uh, not in that way. The plastic feels good is what I mean. The plastic feels good. Uh, she looks really good. Um, let's give her her, um, her Naboo pistol. Um... But yeah, she, uh, she, this is really one of my favorite figures of um, this year um, because like I wanted a six inch scale Padme and I missed out on the SH Figure Arts one because God forbid they had to make that a sole web, ex a, uh, a web shop exclusive. So, you know, but then again, that one is a bit of a different uh, version because that's more the uh, Geonosis Battle Arena version of Padme. This is like more of her adventure outfit before any kind of battles or whatever. But um, honestly, I'm glad I picked this up and I'm glad I waited and not pay 200 plus for the figure arts version because <laughs> no, no, not for one figure, just no. That's why I don't collect hot toys, but um, one of the reasons actually. But anyway, um, oh, almost forgot. Here she is with Batman, Joker, and Harley Quinn. And Harley is a bit taller than Padme. But then again, she's in more high heels and Padme's in boots, so. But just so... Uh, just so that you can get a sense of scale with these guys if you like doing crossover stuff. So, um, yeah. 
But there you go, there you have the Black Series Padme Amidala. Highly recommend this figure if you're a big fan of Natalie Portman. If my phone would shut up. If you're a big fan of Natalie Portman, if you're a big fan of the prequels, the Clone Wars, just whatever, pick this figure up. She is packed two per case, so she's not going to be hard to track down, which is a good thing. Hasbro, you guys are smart on that. Um, and yeah, and uh, Hasbro, other than the Y and uh, then the uh, Y ball uh, ball joints, other than that, you pretty much deserve a pat on the back because this is really this is a really good figure it's a really well done figure so um yeah but anyway i'm rambling now so there you have black series padme and i will see you in the next video